Hey guys, I've spent too much time at the workbench doing my Harry Potter Lego and my colouring. But now it's time to finish the trailer. Let's get into it. Right then folks, it's time to get back into this as Harriet has uh, said because she has taken a lot of time up on my um, workbench. She's been staying with me for a couple of days but that's what this workbench is for. It's for making stuff and I need to get on with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bond this um, box to the front of the trailer like that so and then so I can trim off all these. And then underneath, you're not going to get um, like a, a mess of wiring. It's just going to be uh, quite neat. There is a, a cover to go over um, underneath here, um, like a Susie rail. Um, so I've had a look at um, the different adhesive pads that I've got. And it, they're too thick to be strong enough to hold the thin ones I've got are not really strong enough to hold this on so I'm going to use something I really don't like using and that's uh, hot melt glue but I can easily remove it by um, just dribbling some isopropyl alcohol down um, the top which will just dissolve it and then that will just come off so I'm going to put uh, that on there and then trim these wires back one by one because once I've trimmed them they'll not be identified and uh, plug them into here and uh, during the build I've made lots of notes of what goes there and um, the only problem with leaving it for a couple of weeks is you kind of lose where you are and it takes you a little while to get back into the groove so i'm going to bond that on there um onto the headboard i'm going to refresh what i'm going to do with these make some more notes and then crack on with it but i'm not going to bore you with that because this video is going to be um 17 hours long if i do that so i'm going to try and keep it short and sweet um because after i've done this it's going to be a case of wiring up the um, tractor unit to be able to plug in to these. So, yeah, I'm going to um, get that wired in. So, okay, after making a raised platform, which um, worked out quite well, allowed me to have that on there without um, straining any of the cables now I know the colours might look the same they do make sense to me I have noted them down on my notepad over there and this is three data cables which I labelled um, left, right and middle there was a data cable for the beacons which I made a mistake with I cut them off too short so I've had to put a one inch extension I have labeled these one through to 16 uh, with the exceptions of number 10 not being used at all because I don't need uh, number number 10 in the middle that's just for the front marker lights and the rear marker lights i have um made a test probe using a six volt battery pack so if i read my labels correctly it should be nine eight and nine which are the front marker lights, which you can see just there. And um, miss 10, because that's not used. And then use 11 and um, 12. 
and that is the rear marker lights which if I put you over here and probe them again there you go you can see them in the top of the screen that's the number plate lights and the rear marker lights uh, reverse lights are the um, last two 15 and 16 which if I put you up there you can see that when I probe that and that you can see that the reverse lights come on um, the beacons are on five six and seven and I've standardized the wiring in respect that red positive is always going to be on the right on all of these so if I probe these red will always be on the right I'm going to make a full detailed um, drawing of um, what I've done and then I've roughly jotted out on this side what they're going to be uh, so now that's right I may have to do a little bit of um, juggling with the um, juggling with the um, six light connectors for the Carson 7 chamber lights or however many chambers they are. Sounds like Harry Potter. Like the Lego that um, Harriet built. Which kind of held things up, but uh, you know. Not what kids are like. They need to do things now. And it was one of the things that I bought for her back from Germany. She thoroughly enjoyed it and it looked bloody brilliant and all. And uh, when I got my workbench back, she says, Can I do an intro to one of your videos? And I said, Yeah, okay. And uh, yeah, that was uh, how we come to um, doing an in roll from little Miss, little Miss Harriet. Is an absolute sweetheart. So yeah, that is um, the front of the trailer. I will be um, making some connectors to go to the tractor unit, which will comprise of one six millimeter and. A load of these things which uh, I'll be making the male connectors this one's a reverse light this one's for the seven chamber um, lights which is brake lights tail lights um, well that will be um, left indicator right indicator and stop and tail lights these two are reversing lights these three are for the beacons and these five will be for the marker lights the front set and the rear set so the front set are going to be in the two end pins on the left and the two end pins on the right the middle pin will not be in use so that's my next job is to get um, some Molex connectors connected to um, the truck which I have already let me just get that put that up there and uh, so I mean when you walk away from a project and you, you kind of lose focus on where you are and it, 
it, it takes you another, um, let's say, half hour to figure out um, where you are and what everything else did. So, um, yeah, that's that's that. This all will be tidied up. Um, when I disconnected the cab, I did a... Um, stupid thing and I tried to pull the beacon plug out by its wires and ended up pulling the chuffing wires out so um, I've got a Y connector in for the beacons just there um, why aren't I putting the Bayer system in because I haven't even opened the Bayer system and I'm too far in with this I've got a few Y connectors just here for the marker lights ready to go so yeah um, where am I going with it I just need to get this plug uh, cut off and get a six pin Molex connector on there which is basically going to be something similar to this and the colours don't match so if I unplug that from there that goes into the MFC and the colours are way off from um, what they should be so That, that'll have a Molex on it. I'm not using uh, that one that I made up. So I use the original Carson wiring and um, fit the cab latch, fit the um, cab latch on the back so it looks a bit neater. And uh, yeah, then it should be done. And then it's on to the the, um, the load, getting some uh, posts in here and some safety chain around the edge like uh, we have. Because health and safety matters, you know. Um, anyway, um, I'll update you as and when. We've got another bank holiday weekend, which is the King's Coronation. And I'll probably be immersed in soldering irons and wire snippers by then. So, yeah. Have a good one. If you have any suggestions, um, let me know uh, what you think. If you think I should do it another way or if you've got a better idea, just let me know. Always open to suggestions. Until then, uh, stay frosty.